एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वी हैव बीन लुकिंग एट structure of an atom in light of quantum chemistry and previous two videos were related to quantum chemistry and schrodinger equation we have deduced how schrodinger equation can result in visualization of electronic clouds or how it can help us to deduce shapes of atomic orbitals now the next important thing is that very rarely you will find atoms as independent atoms do not have complete valency so they usually interact with other atoms to give rise to molecules now what happens to these atomic orbitals do they simply overlap with each other or do they simply come in contact with each other obviously not because two waves when they are coming closer to each other they are likely to generate a new wave as we have seen in case of previous uh, examples in atoms so is the case of molecular orbitals when two atoms or more atoms combine together the combination not only leads to just sharing or transfer of electrons but when you imagine electron as a wave these two waves combine together and they give rise to new orbitals or new waves which are collectively called as molecular orbitals so this video is about the molecular orbitals we'll take this video in two parts the part 1 will be basic description of molecular orbitals and then we will talk about more complex scenarios or the shapes of molecular orbitals in the part 2 of this video welcome to ashan academy my name is aditya and you're watching engineering chemistry videos if you want to learn more about this topic you can refer this book from ashan publishing you can find link for ebook in the description box below so let us start with the very basic concept of what molecular orbitals are if you look at some key points uh, you would notice <coughs> that a molecular orbital is basically a mathematical function just like a wave function we have talked about atomic orbitals so very similar to that we can have an independent orbital function or wave function which can describe the location and or uh, and wave like behavior of an electron in a molecule rather than an atom for example oxygen molecule hydrogen molecules o2 h2 and lot of other molecules that we see around us they are formed by combination of atoms so how individual atoms are combining and how waves of electrons are apparent or they they, they are seen in molecules that is represented by a mathematical function here now this theory came little late and uh, much much later than the atomic orbital concept so molecular orbital concept was introduced by robert mulliken the one that was involved in discovery of elementary particles so uh, it was basically meant for one or uh, orbit electron orbital system but molecular orbitals will approximate the schrodinger equation again the same equation has to be used which we talked in previous two videos for explaining the electronic field in the molecules these molecular orbitals are constructed by combination of atomic orbitals or you can say hybrids of atomic orbitals we know that orbitals are basically representing the wave forms of electrons so when two waves or more waves come together they give rise to a new wave so this is how molecular orbitals are formed and there is a very popular theory that explains how waves combine called linear combination of atomic orbitals so we'll talk later in this video about linear combination of atomic orbitals but before that a couple of more points related to symmetry function in molecular orbitals you have already learned that atomic orbitals are already symmetrical you can see that s orbital is completely spherical p orbital is dumbbell shaped whereas z or uh, whereas d orbital is double dumbbell shaped so they have some symmetry features there is a plane of symmetry in in all these orbitals you can you can split it like this so across the node it is completely symmetrical if you draw two planes here one plane here and one plane here you can also divide this d orbital in a symmetric plane 
So the question is, are molecular orbitals also symmetric? When these atomic orbitals combine, do molecular orbitals also remain symmetric? And the answer is yes. Molecular orbitals are delocalized throughout the entire molecule. So you should remember one fact that if an electron of, of an atom, for example, oxygen here and oxygen here, they are combining together to give rise to a molecule of oxygen, then orbitals of oxygen are going to interact with orbitals of another oxygen atom. Now, it is likely that an orbital when combines with another, another orbital, and if new orbitals are not formed, you will speculate that these are going to be non-symmetrical. But it doesn't happen. These two waves combine together and they give rise to a new molecular orbital, which are quite very much symmetrical, just like all these atomic orbitals. So one fact or a message that has to be taken from this slide is that molecular orbitals are also symmetric once they combine they form, they are also symmetric and they are also degenerate and the electron is distributed all over the molecule now. Instead of being restricted to single atom, the electron which was thought to be spinning around one atom when it was isolated, another electron was thought to be spinning around this atom when it, it was isolated. Now this electron is not only spinning like this around both the atoms, but electronic wave is distributed all over the molecule. It is distributed all over the molecule in a symmetric fashion and that is what is the meaning of molecular orbital. So mathematically if you want to represent uh, the symmetry of molecular orbitals it can be it can be represented by a mathematical uh, operator S and it includes a lot of things like reflection, rotation and inversion and in terms of the Schrodinger wave function, you can again write S as a function of psi, which is wave function, which is equal to plus or minus psi. That means two waveforms when they combine. Now these waves can combine in two different ways, which we will talk later in this video. Every wave uh, waveform has a point called crest and a point called trough, the point of maximum amplitude and point of minimum amplitude. So we can in general represent this as a plus and minus phase of a wave. So when two waves are interacting together to give rise to a molecular waveform, so in what symmetry they are doing so, whether plus and plus are combining, that means they are in the same phase or they are in the opposite phase that dictates the overall symmetry function of a molecular wave. So that's why it has been written as psi is equal to plus minus psi. It can be plus psi or minus psi depending on which part of the waveform is actually interacting to give rise to molecular wave. So that was all in this part of the video. We have learned about uh, what a wave function is and how molecular waves are formed. Molecular orbitals are formed from combination of atomic orbitals, but what is the exact theory? What is linear combination of atomic orbitals? What is their shape? That we are going to talk in the second part of this video. If you want to learn more about this topic, you can refer this book from S. Chan Publishing. You can find link for ebook in the description box below. You can like, share and subscribe the channel for continuous use and regular updates. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.